Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers. And this is Doc. Can you put your hat over here, girl? <laughs> My rescue puppy who is absolutely not awake yet. She's listening to the cat meow, so she's totally distracted and she's going to go lie down and eat. <laughs> and whatever the circumstances, this is our daily message of hope. And I hope you are in a good place today as we uh, uh, hit the midpoint of this week. Um, and I just want to share, I get, I get comments all the time over social media and sometimes at church. I do spend a lot of time talking about joy and joy being a gift from the Lord that we can ask for. It's a spiritual gift. We can't really create our own joy. Uh, joy is a deep uh, uh, disposition within us um, to be happy and content and serene, <clears throat> knowing that uh, God is in control. And people ask me, uh, well, how can you even do that? You know, we've got COVID in our house now for the third time. And, you know, our, my, my little kid is sick again with uh, bronchial conditions or, you know, the things are just really tough at work. I don't know where joy is in the middle of that. And you may be there too. I know I am a lot. And so it helps to have a strategy. That's what I have to do every day. Uh, we figure out ways that we can be predisposed and receptive to receiving the joy of the Lord and passing it on. So you can be joyful, uh, even in the midst of a hurricane, even in the midst of COVID. You can be joyful. And here's some things you can do. And you'll have to come up with your own list, whatever works, works for you. But there's one that's true all the way across the board, and that's number one, being grateful to the Lord. Telling God how thankful you are for the blessings he has given you. And then count them. Count your blessings. And there's a wonderful song that makes me think of that all the time that I'm going to play in just a minute. Number two, create something to look forward to. Make a plan for something in the future and look forward to it. It helps to look forward. Otherwise, we just look backwards and get miserable. Uh, the third thing is absolutely uh, not an option. Practice random acts of kindness. Find things you can do uh, without being asked to help other people. And it may be like a friend of mine who all he does at meetings he goes to is goes around and pours coffee for people uh, and uh, looks for the, to fulfill the needs of the others who are around you. That's not an option. The fourth thing is pray for other people. And really, that's the first thing, too, because prayer gets you uh, into a, a grateful position. But pray for others. And then find something awesome in your life all around you. Look up at the stars. Uh, watch the bugs in the yard. Uh, pay attention to animals. Uh, look at God's creation. Find something awesome. And in the midst of all of that, practice what Jesus said in Matthew 11, verse 28 and 29. Come unto me, all ye that tra travail and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. And for my yoke is gentle and my yoke is light. Turn to the Lord and find your rest in him and be joyful. And remember that joy comes from him. And here's that wonderful little song. <laughs> discouraged, thinking all is lost. Count your many blessings. Name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Have a joyful day today, and God willing, dot.
There she is. And I will see you here tomorrow. God bless you.